Private equity firms like Mitt Romney's Bain Capital are facing serious scrutiny for paying their execs big bucks in a bad economy. Now, another firm, Carlyle Group, is under fire. The firm handed $15 billion back to its investors, which resulted in a huge payday for founders, some $400 million for the three founders. Time to bring out our panel. Larry Wingett is the author of Shut Up, Stop Whining, and Get a Life. Katie Pavlich is the editor of Town for townhall.com in D.C., and Matt McCall is the CEO of Penn Financial. Matt, what do you make of this? I mean, a lot of criticism. How much is too much to make? Well, I don't think it's too much if you're making a lot of money. I think it's all relevant. You know, you think about this, people are going to bash him because, you know, it's a lot of money, you know, in this type of economy. However, they also created a boatload of jobs by doing this. Uh, they were the founders of this company, so why not let them take as much money as they can? And when this company does go public and you and I are able to buy into it, if we don't agree with it, then don't buy the darn stock. We have that choice of buying that stock if we want executives to get paid that much. But you know what? This is capitalism. That's what it's all about. Is it too much? Sure. But it's their choice. Let them do that. Katie, I mean, it's not like these guys don't take risk in the marketplace. They do as they pick these companies and invest in them, right? Right, and, and their payouts are what the market offers. Um, I don't think it's too much. And let's look at the results of what they've founded. Three founders founding a company that it has 1,200 jobs now that will grow once it goes public. So not only do they deserve this, but they deserve a pat on the back for growing the economy in tough economic times. Larry, I'm thinking Jerry Willis, private equity capitalist. How does it sound? <laughs> you know, it sounds good to me. And let's just make it Jerry and Larry and we'll do it. Uh, you know, I want to know why people are have such a problem with this whole thing. Are they just jealous? Really? These are guys who have not done anything wrong. Nothing. Uh, they didn't take any taxpayer money. They didn't get a bailout. They just went out there, took a lot of risk, made their company a lot of money, and now they're taking a cut. That sounds perfectly fair to me. And, and I think that all of us ought to just butt out. And, and even more than that, they're often working on companies that are having big financial problems. And if they didn't go into these companies, well, they might go belly up. Well, that's my two cents. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some top economists at a London think tank. They claim they've got the solution to our economic woes. Listen to this. Just share your job with other people and cut your work week down to just 20 hours. Katie, what do you say? I say, America, keep working because millions of Europeans are depending on you to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> I mean, I have, no, I have no tolerance for the Europeans saying that we should have a shorter work week. Spreading the jobs around, spreading the wealth around, that's not working for Europe. Their debt crisis is out of control. And once again, European economists aren't coming up with solutions that are gonna, not only going to help Europe get moving, but get the world economy moving. Can you imagine if Americans started acting like Europe? The whole eco global economy would oh, fall yeah. completely apart. And the study shows that actually it would, it would increase GDP for the, for the UK if this goes through. How in the world does this increase GDP? And it says it's actually going to make these people's lives better. Well, if my rent costs X amount and suddenly I'm bringing it half because I'm only working 20 hours, that company's not going to pay me the same salary, are they? If they do, sure, I, I'm moving to UK, but that's not going to happen. So how do I pay for my kids' food? How do I pay for rent? This makes absolutely no sense. And this think tank, they're Who not they? thinking. They're in a tank, but they're not doing <laughs> much thinking. Larry, uh, I'm thinking maybe a siesta, maybe a break if I'm just feeling blue. Help me out here. What do you say? Well, you know, since most studies tell us that the person that works 40 hours a week actually only works about 20 hours a week, it seems to me like the only difference is that you get to go home early under this plan. You know, and the other thing I don't like about this, this economist said these people would be able to take off early and go home and spend time with their kids. I hate it when they throw kids into this deal. I tell you what, guarantee me that you'll actually go home and cook a healthy meal for your kid, read to your kid, play with your kid, teach that kid how to be successful and prosperous and healthy, and then I'll consider your request. Until then, get your butt back to work. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of kids, exclusive photos of Beyonce and Jay-Z's newborn daughter, Blue Ivy Carter, aren't expected to rake in as much dough if a bidding war begins. In fact, celebrity magazine insiders say they'll fetch one to two million bucks. That's not a lot of money for this kind of thing. That's a fraction of the reported $10 million they paid for baby pics of Brangelina's twins. Larry... This makes my head hurt, this story. It really does. I mean, wealthy people selling pictures of their kids? Really? It's just... Well, you know... I
I Sad wrote a book it. called People Are Idiots, and I can prove it, and this pretty much <laughs> proves it to me. Uh, what? I guess they got to be sitting there saying, what's wrong with our kid? How come our kid isn't worth as much as Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's? I don't know. Maybe it's because you named it after your favorite color and your favorite number. That might be the problem. I will tell you, this is one more reason to have a kid in my mind. If somebody's going to pay me a million dollars for a kid's picture, I'm going to have 30 kids. Why not? Katie, I'm not having 30 kids, are you? No way. I am definitely not having 30 kids, but Jerry, it might make you feel better. Based on Jay-Z and Beyonce's record of privacy, they probably won't be rele releasing photos of their child for financial gain. So that's a, a positive of this story. But the fact that we're, yes, selling pictures of our children to get lots of money is, is a little bit sad. Creepy. All right. Larry, Katie, and Matt, great job. You guys rock. This is my favorite panel ever. Really? Right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they're not. All right, coming up, as if there aren't enough hands in the housing cookie jar, the Fed now has another plan, but will it be any better than the other government programs? Details coming up next. And in just a few minutes, Neil Cavuto will be joined by former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson. Don't go away. Yesterday.